I have done something really stupid and I'm thoroughly ashamed of myself. I'm old enough to know better. Welcome to Workshop Essentials. I've got a new toy. It's this rather wonderful Sedgwick Planar Thicknesser. I've still got my little kitty that I've had for 30 years. And uh, if you want to see me setting that up, you can watch on up there somewhere, I think. Um, but this is a bigger machine. It's got 12 inch knives, not 10 inch. It's cast iron, not aluminium. And the feed rate is slower. So you get a really good finish. And it's got three knives instead of two. So you get a really good finish. And um, when I got it, um, it the, the knives were nicked. I did know that they were nicked. And so I decided I'd put some new knives on. Now, I've got it set up very well. It isn't perfect. And one thing that my little kitty has that this doesn't have is fine adjustment on the outfeed table. So I've got the, just the tiniest, tiniest bit of snipe. But you could hardly see it. Um, but there's no, this isn't on a, on a slide. So I can't alter this. Unless I'm missing something. Unless I'm missing something, this doesn't move. So I got this machine set up very nicely ready for use. And then I went and helped a neighbour, a mate round the corner, to do some concreting. We were setting out the, all the formwork. And um, they've only got a very modest square like this for, for setting out a room. I said, Have you got any, haven't you got anything any bigger? He said, yes, but not with me. I said, uh, give me one of those studs, I'll be back in half an hour with a square of Thales. What's a square of Thales, he says. So I told him, and if a square of Thales is new to you as well, there's everything you could possibly want to know about it up here. It's for checking a square corner, for laying out 90 degree corners. So I grabbed this stud out of his scrap pile, brought it home, took all the screws out, obviously. And um, I definitely took all the screws out, yes. And I planed one face and I planed one edge, and then I put it through the thicknesser and I heard, Zzz! And I thought, oh no, I know what that sound is. And there was a screw broken off inside. You couldn't see the head, but the planer found it. Brand new knives that had been on three days and that was the first piece of wood to go through. So I said a naughty word is what I did. And then I thought, oh, this is the end of the board that, was, that caused the problem and you can see the screw is there and you can see the ridge that comes in behind it when you've got a nick and this is the what this is this is what the nick looks like it's not insignificant and then I thought something this is a, this is a trick I've known about for a very long time I have not invented it but it was never any use to me when I would got only got my little kitty on the kitty, the knives are held in place just by friction, really. They're clamped front and back by the wedge and the cutter block. If you release the cutter block, the knives move because they're on springs. So if you just remove the cutter block entirely, they'll spring up. Uh, if you haven't got any springs in, they will drop down. This machine has got lifters, which makes it much easier to set the knives properly. You can get in there with an Allen key and fine adjust the heights by turning a screw. There's one at each end of the, of the knives. And I thought, we can use this. So I simply undid the cutter block. And because the knives are supported by these lifter screws, they didn't drop out of the way. And I could nudge one knife just a millimetre or two towards the fence and then tighten it back up again. And then for the next knife, slacken it off and nudge it a millimetre or two away from the fence and tighten it up again. And because it's supported by those lifters, the knife stays at the right height. The third knife, of course, stays where it's put. So these knives have now got this, they've got three nicks, but they're not all in the same place. Two cover for the other one, whichever way you look at it, two of them cover for the other one. 
And so, despite having nicked knives, this machine now produces a flawless finish again, as if it had never happened. Of course, it would have been much better if I had not got myself into this pickle in the first place. So the first thing I did when I got the problem sorted out was go online and treat myself to one of these. This is excellent. I really ought to get one of those Amazon affiliate thingies. This came from the big river. And there are lots to choose from, and they're not terribly expensive. This is a mid-range one, and it cost me less than 30 quid. Less than a new set of knives, actually. And um, uh, it, it, it just works. You switch it on. And so now I can run it along my board and it'll tell me if there's anything hidden in there. Thanks very much for watching. I'll see you next time. Cheerio.